All right, so here we are with the adventure trailer that I put together. And I'm gonna show you how I installed the Timgo battery in it. And I'm using it as an expansion battery for my F3800. So we got the battery mounted here. I've got the screen mounted right here, charger mounted down there. It basically performs the exact same way as the $2,000 expansion battery for the F3800, except for this costs $799 with the charger and with the screen. All right, hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike and we are Runaway Parents. I got a battery here we're gonna take a look at. Tim goes kind enough to send this to us. Uh, it's really intended for a golf cart install and uh, I'll show you everything that it comes with for that purpose. But what we're gonna use it for is I've been building an adventure trailer and I'm gonna install it in there as an expansion battery for my Anchor F3800, which I'll, we'll go out there and I'll show you how I'm gonna install it in that and how I'm gonna use it. And it's gonna work out perfect. All right, so what we got here is the 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour, basically 48 volt battery. It is heavy, it's 108 pounds. But one of the things I do like about it, actually love about it is, if you see right here on the side, right there, you've got a port, communication port to plug in. It comes with a screen, and I will show you the screen here in a second. It comes with all the accessories you're gonna need if you're gonna do a golf cart install, everything you're gonna need. You're gonna have the tie downs for it. It's gonna come with a charger, the screen. When you open it up out of the packaging, you're gonna get your Timgo owner's manual. And man, it, I'm telling you what, the, the manual on it, they're getting, these companies are getting better and better at their manuals. All your safety precautions are covered in it. Your packaging list, everything's nice. Everything appears to be spelled correctly on it. Gives you the dimensions of the battery. 20.47 inches by 10.5, nine inches by 8.66 inches, 108.4 pounds, 5,120 watt hours. Like I said, total capacity is 100 amp hours on it. You can take a continuous charge of 50 amps on it, but it's recommended at 18 amps, which the charger is gonna put out the 18 amps. At 18 amps, your standard charge time is gonna be six hours on it, and you have a continuous discharge of 200 amps. You can handle a 315 amp discharge with it for 30 seconds, or it will peak out at 600 amps for three seconds. It is IP65 water rated, and your terminal types on it are M8 studs. So looking here at the manual that it comes with, it's gonna show you all the information you need on the battery specifications, charge parameters, and everything. What's cool about it is it gives you nice illustrations on the install, on how you're gonna install it. You, you really, you can't mess it up. You can't mess it up. Shows you how to install a screen, where to plug everything. Everything is real clear, written out, really nice. And this is also has Bluetooth function, and I will show you the app here in a minute. Thoroughly impressed with the app. I've got multiple batteries, as you can see, some Bluetooth, some not. The app on this was a really great app. I really like the app. It shows pretty much everything you need to know on it. Really user friendly. You also have your warranty card. You can register it, share your experience on Amazon and get an extra two years extended on your warranty by doing that. So I do suggest doing that. Right here, you're gonna have another card showing you some more installation procedures. So putting that aside, you got your nice tie down straps. That's gonna come with. Looking here at the charger, your pamphlet for the charger. It's gonna charge it at 56.8 volts at 18 amps. Got a nice handle, aluminum body on it. Waterproof plugs right here, really nice charger. All right, it's gonna come with both terminals, your short ones and your long ones, your M8s, and your positive and negative caps, and all the hardware you need to install the screen. Really nice screen, it's got all your mounting holes. If you're in a golf cart, you can just mount that on your golf cart. Long enough cable to route back to the battery. You're gonna have a barrel style connector on it. And like I said, it's gonna plug right here on the end of the battery. There's only one way it can plug in. Find a little notch, you can screw it in, there's your waterproof connection. Really nice screen. It's touch screen. Page one is gonna show your battery percentage, current, voltage, the temperature, time till empty. Touch your screen, go to page two. Discharge, charge, 100 amp hours, how many cycles the battery has on it, max temp, minimum temperature, and your status is normal. Going on to page three, gives you all your cells, shows you your highest cell, your lowest cells, the balance of your cells. Really good information to have. Real simple screen, gives you everything you need to know right there at the touch. I really like the screen on this thing. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go to the Apple Store or the Play Store on Google. You're gonna download the Timgo app. I already downloaded it. Go to your Bluetooth settings. PC35 is what it was on mine. And there we have it. It's gonna show the battery at 100%. Real easy app. Discharging, you can turn it on or off. A lot of the same stuff that the display screen will show you. Cycles, current. And there's all your cells, shows you all of that. Pretty much everything you need to know in the app. You go to about, language is set to English, 
change the temperature over to Fahrenheit because we are in America in your firmware version. Real simple app. I really like it. So I do fully intend on using the battery. So I want to keep it all intact. So we're going to go outside and I'm going to put it in my adventure trailer and I'm going to use it as an expansion battery on my power station. And I got a little hack for that. So it'll save you a lot of money going this route using this expansion battery on your power station for energy storage. So let's pick this up outside and I'll show you what we got going on. All right, so here we are with the adventure trailer that I put together that we pulled behind the truck camper. And I'm gonna show you how I installed the Timgo battery in it. And I'm using it as an expansion battery for my F3800. I've got the string mounted right here, the charger mounted down there. And let me come on around here and give you a look. So we got the battery mounted here. And what I did was I bought the Anchor Solex expansion battery cord, the plug, cut it. The middle wire was a communication wire and the right side was my positive. There's two cables for it. The left side was the negative two cables. Splice blocks and insulated them and your cables come out here. And the beauty of that is that whenever I charge through solar, it charges the expansion battery through solar through the F3800. All right, it basically performs the exact same way as the $2,000 expansion battery for the F3800, except for this costs $799 with the charger and with the screen. I don't know where you're gonna beat that price. It is freaking incredible. $799 for a 100 amp hour, 48 volt battery, charger and screen and tie down straps. That is a complete win. As you see up here, we got the Renogy Sh Shadow Flux solar panels. I have four of them up there. It's 800 watts going into there. We are set, absolutely set. So with that being said, I will leave some links in the description. You guys can go check it out for yourselves. You don't have to have a golf cart, energy storage. Amazing deal. I will keep uh, everybody, you follow my channel, like, subscribe. You'll see updates on it, how it's performing. And um, we'll go from there. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one.